All right, guys, I'm gonna give you a quick rundown on my little mini chop I was building. That you see is almost finished. Everything is almost done, but putting the uh, the uh, stripes on the stripes on the fuel tank. I'm gonna put some white stripes on it and put this rear tire on here. Just want y'all to check this tire and tell me what you think about it. Do you think it look good? I think it will. It's gonna be black and white, black white with you know white and black stripes on it and stuff. So I bought that tire. That's a golf cart tire. I'm do a walk around and let you check it out. And, and look at this thing coming together pretty good i got a tire on it you'll see the shaft sticking out i hadn't cut it off yet because i ain't quite finished with it yet I hadn't decided how i'm gonna do this but uh just want y'all to check this out and uh see it and yeah it does have working headlights i'm waiting on my tail light to come uh let's see turn the switch on on it and it got leds too see there's led headlight it does work i got leds to go on the back Back there, and it got uh, up underneath there, it's got purple neon, I mean blue neon lights, LED lights, I'm sorry, LED lights that shines down. And uh, and shines, you know, shines down on the ground, and on the engine and everything, makes it look real good. Uh, let's take a look at this tire. This was the tire I was gonna put on here first. It's real wide, I like the, the width of it. It's real wide, but it's a little bit shorter, not quite 20 inches, and I wanted to put a 20 inch diameter tire on it. That tire right at 19, I think, uh, a little under 19, not quite 20 like I wanted. So uh, uh, this is the tire. Of course, you can see my little saying, Mikey likes it. But uh, that's the back of the tire. You already saw the front. Let me do a quick walk around and show you the difference in the width of the tire. If you can see it, that tire there is a little bit, maybe about two inches wider than that tire. But I think it's going to look good with this tire on it anyway. And plus this tire is a little bit taller, but this is a mini chopper, like a mini barber mini chopper. Something I put together. Uh, just want y'all to check it out. Tell me what you think of it. Look at the rim. That's the rim I'm gonna put on. That's a 14 inch rim. And it's 14 inch rim. The tire, I think it's a, uh, yeah, 225, 30, uh, 14 on a 14 inch rim. Aluminum, that's aluminum rim, it's real light. So I think it's gonna look pretty good, but when I put it on, I'm gonna reverse it, you know, put the sport part on the other side so you can see the sprocket on the back side back there. And it won't look so, you know, won't look so bad. So, uh, you know, yeah, by the way, this, I have a jack shelf in there and it pulls real good, you know, even with the weight of this thing, you know, what you you wouldn't think it was that uh, centrifugal clutch on it would pull it, but it does. I just ride it a few minutes ago and that thing pulled across the backyard here. That thing was pulling pretty good, but of course, that's a six and a half horsepower bit um, Predator motor from Harbor Freight that I had on my old wooden motorcycle I had, and I took it apart and made one out of out of you know steel. And the frame is made out of a, a steel one inch one inch inner diameter steel. Uh, uh, what is it? Water line? What they call a uh, fire line that they have in top of buildings. That's what that is. And that front tire, front rim there, that comes off a miniature buggy, miniature horse buggy. So, and of course on my pegs, that's leather on the pegs. That's leather what you wrap uh, baseball bats with. And that's what I wrap that with and, uh, and put it around there on both of them as you can see. And, and like I said, I mean, it doesn't have a throttle. I use this, this is my throttle here. And that's my brakes over there. So I didn't want to put a, you know, a conventional, you know, like everybody else do the regular hand throttle. So I put a brake, I mean, brake throttle on it this time. And, and I think, it, it, and it works real good. Yeah, I mean, it works real, real good. So when you look at it, you, you think it's just both front and back brakes, but actually that's your throttle and that's your brakes there. And the brakes is hooked up here to the centrifugal clutch. And it does slow it down. It stops it pretty good. It don't slide the tires, but it will stop it. And it does work pretty pretty well. So, but in the shaft there, uh, that was the rim I was going to use. It's a that's old lawnmower rim, uh, riding lawnmower rim, and it does work. That's a three quarter inch shaft. It's pretty strong, pretty sturdy shaft. But uh, I'm gonna take that rim off. I'm gonna use it for something else, some other project. I'm gonna come up with, and I'm gonna put that tire on there. But uh, as you can see, that shaft need to be cut off right there. So. But anyway, just wanted to give y'all a quick rundown on what I was, my little project I'm putting together. My little uh, mini chopper, as you can see. Uh, 
something I've been working on. I've been working on now about two months. So it's coming to a completion now. About done with it. Thing run good, run. Get out there probably about, I say I estimate it run about 40 to 45 miles per hour. Gets out there pretty good. And it, it don't play around, so. But anyway, just something to ride around in the neighborhood and mess with the kids in the neighborhood. But uh, anyway, I want y'all to check this out. My little miniature chopper I'm putting together and tell me what you think about it. All right, it's your boy Howard Michael. I'll holler.